Hey, you and program allies, my name is Marshall Marty, and welcome to part 8 of the Python and Pygame 2 to Python tutorial series. So in this tutorial, we're going to be creating some very exciting stuff. We're going to create a camera function that is going to be following the player around on the screen. Let's so go into the code and make sure it's after the main function. Scroll down, and we're going to want to create a new class, and this class we're going to call the camera. So class camera, and we'll go with camera, and we'll call this camera class so we don't forget that's a class and not an object. Open up some parentheses. Add a colon, hit enter, and then we're going to go DEF, which is defining a method of the camera class. And this is going to be the initiation method, which is basically kind of a constructor. You call in constructor in C++, um, can't find an underscore. There we go, underscore. So it's with two underscores, and that's, it's readable. And Python reads that as a constructor. And then the parameter you want to give it is we're only going to give it itself. And the parameter of camera class up here, this parameter here, we're going to want to give that a parameter of an object. And an object is a Python keyword, and this is saying that it's a class, but yet it is an object. Object. I feel like, ah, there we go. And once it highlights purple like that, or if you're using PyCharm or something, if it highlights like that, you know it's spelled right. Add a colon right there to the end of that line, and then here we are going to want to give it Oh, actually, we're going to need some parameters right here. So it's going to need it itself, and it's going to need a parameter called camera function, which is going to be a simple or complex camera. So we'll go camera function. And we can abbreviate this with func. That's con... Yeah, func. It's, it's, commonly, it's commonly recognized as the abbreviation for function in programming. And then we are going to give it two more parameters, and that is going to be the width of the camera. So that's the width of what it's seen, and the height of which is, what it is seen as well. So we're gonna go height. So hit new line and give yourself a new line after the init line. And then here we're going to want to type self dot camera function. Self dot typing faster than T is talking faster than I can type here. Self dot camera function is going to be equal to the camera function that we're going to give it as a parameter, which is going to be another function. Camera function. Now what we're going to want to do it hit new line. And here we're going to create self dot state, which is the state of the camera. And we're going to set this equal to a pi game. I believe, yeah, I believe it's a pi game rectangle. Then give it some parameters, and the parameters of it is going to be its position on the screen. So we'll start at the zero, the basic zero, the starting coordinates of x and y, which is zero zero at the left hand corner of the screen. So zero comma zero. And then we're going to want to give it width and height. So that's how big our camera is going to see which is how much we can see the field of vision, commonly, aka FOV. It's, it's the abbreviation for field of vision. And we're going to give it the parameters of width and height, and this is going to be how far our player can see. Then hit enter, and now we're going to want to create another method, and this method is going to be apply. So this is where the camera applies to an object. So, so it applies to the camera if we want to focus on, say, a block, a certain little block, or an enemy. So we'll apply, and we're going to want to give us parameters add a colon and then hit new line and then here we're going to want to type return which basically returns a value it runs the function and then it returns the value and then exit stops running the function and we are going to want to quickly give apply some parameters which is going to be itself so it can access all of the self extensions we're going to give it a self a, whoops not a, a arithmetic error don't know where that came from but whatever and with the other parameter we're going to give it is the target is basically what is it going to be focusing on. Now good to go. So here on the return line we're going to want to type target dot rect dot move target dot rect. If I can find dot dot there, scooch my keyboard over so then that it's not so hard to reach all the keys. Dot rect and then dot move. So this is detecting if the player is moving or the target is moving. So we're going to want to give it some parameters and the parameters we're going to want to give it is self dot state state dot and then top left which is going to be the zero and zero x and y coordinate position so now the apply function is complete which is basically where it applies to the target and then we're going to want to create a function called update so def is to define a method so basically if you're kind of wondering why i switch between calling a method and a, and a function a method is inside a class def it's a function inside a class so it's called a method and basically and then if the function is of it's a function outside of a class, so that means it's not in any class. So then we are going to name this update, so update, and then open up some parentheses, and we're going to give it the parameters of, once again, ourself, and we're going to give it the target parameters. And then what we're going to want to do 
is whoops why did that not tab right oh didn't tab right because i missed out on that colon and you do want to include that colon and we should space this out a little so so that's not too jumbled of a mess here we go and because programming is messy enough without actually ways without making it any harder on their eyes then we're going to want to hit new line and we're going to want to type self dot state and we're going to want to set self dot state equal to self dot no not cell self uh, self dot tar camera funct self dot camera funk and be sure it's spelled the same as it is up here then it open up the parameters and the parameters that we're going to give it is self dot state and the self dot target wait not not self dot target just target so this is going to do is just going to update once it sees a movement of the player um we want to finish that line with whoops typo massive typo but no biggie fixed and corrected now we're going to want to create a class uh actually not a class we're going to want to create a function and we're going to type df and then we're going to call this here complex camera complex camera and we're going to again keeping consistent with our programming style which is all little case and then a big c and then little case after that open and close some parentheses add a colon and hit enter and we are out of time so we have created a camera class right now um let's just add pass right here so we can be sure we can run without any errors and it looks like we'll see but hopefully today is a good day and hopefully we have no errors uh it failed to load okay no i just ran the shell why did i do that okay f5 that's safe yes okay save now hopefully no errors and yes we have our red screen no errors 100 percent good to go so i hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to create the complex camera function and then we're going to hopefully be able to see some visual progress on the screen so if you guys have any questions or comments about python or pygame i'd love to see that down in the comment section and i'll be seeing you tomorrow march marty out i gotta take a switch i'll be back that feels better.